here my name is busy welcome to the channel today's adventure i'm going to check out the bombay hook national wildlife refuge here in delaware now this park is a little different um because it has a little driving uh route which is kind of good because this is in a marsh which really attracts a lot of horse spider flies you'll probably see them um i will go out and brave the elements a little bit with those I'm uh, probably going to throw a hoodie on just so that I could survive. But you can see it there in the video flying all around. Um, but what do you expect from a marsh? Um, there are a couple places where I could stop for observation. So I'll try to hit those and show you the park a little bit. Enjoy this adventure. So let's see. Oh boy. All right, let's walk this way. <laughs> Even the signs are like pestered. Okay, let's not stop, let's keep moving. <laughs> so long as you move, it makes it harder for them to stick to you. Also, bug spray does not work on horse flies. <laughs> All right, I'm running. Because <laughs> I'm walking too slow, apparently. <laughs> let's run this quarter mile. If you need that eight minute mile, this might be the training you need. <laughs> All right, made it to the observation deck. The forest ranger told me that they don't fly that high, so we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Nope, they still fly up here. This is Raymond Pool. These are all the different birds that nest here. Now this is a great park for bird watchers because it lies on one of the flyways. One of the four flyways located in the United States. There's the Pacific, the Central Flyaway, Mississippi, and Atlantic Flyaway, which this one lies on. All right, time to go back to the car. And based on this one, I'll do the other one, which is a quarter mile. See you at the car. <sighs> I made it. I survived this, this first observatory. On to the next one. Made it to the boardwalk. This next pond here is brackish, which means it's uh, partially salt water, partially fresh water. Um, the salinity on this comes from uh, tidal salts. This is a quarter of the saltiness of the body of water that feeds it. Um, because it's got fresh water and it's got salt water. Um, the river that feeds it is actually the Leipzig River, which we'll be able to see um, when we get through here. Yeah, it smells lovely. I'm being sarcastic when I say that. <laughs> it's the decomposing matter in the swampiness there. <sighs> this is beautiful, don't get me wrong. But these flies... They got to go. <laughs> Actually, I got to go. I'm in their habitat. <laughs> wow, look at that. Definitely perfect for nesting because there's lots of bugs and critters here for birds to eat. 
This reminds me of a little bit of uh, Congaree National Park. There's the pond. Now the mud in these marshes is great for fiddler crabs. Actually, see them running right there. Look at that. Birds love eating them and they love the mud. Look at that. It's crazy. <laughs> they literally just look and they all hide. You can probably see it, but they just start running. Running for the hills. I think they're scared of my shadow. See them scurry a little bit. Look at that. See? All over. Oh, run, 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 run. See? Look. That's a male. You could tell by the bigger claw. There you go. The male usually has more claw than the female when it comes to fiddler crabs. And that's a warning call that I'm here. That's a red uh, winged blackbird. See, flying around me. It's a warning call <laughs> that I'm here. So it seems like I've overstayed my welcome. <laughs> Red-winged blackbird. They're beautiful creatures. Look at this crab running here on the boardwalk. Run, little guy. Run. I'm not going to hurt you, but you might want to find some safety from these uh, birds. Just saying. This is definitely brackish there. Holy cow. That was the pond there. All right, I'm going back to the vehicle because these flies are unbearable. <laughs> All right, made it. Ooh, have common water snakes here. We saw the fiddler crab. There's the pond that we just passed. Brackish, 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 all brackish, because it's f uh, fed by the tidal salts. Now everything on the right is a uh, salt marsh, and this salt marsh encompasses the greater part of this park. Um, it encompasses 13,000 acres. All the way across there. Now the gut is the little winding ins and out of the river. Canals are straight and dug by man. The guts are carved out by nature. This is Sheerness Pool. And it's the largest of the pools they have here. This one is 560 acres. On my left here, you can see a great egret. And then further down there, I'm pretty sure those are the Canada goose. Or geese, however you want to call them. <laughs> Thank you.
last gauntlet for the day. This is Bear Swamp Pool. Um, it's an observation deck. This one has uh, 240 acres it takes up. Like the others, the water level is carefully managed to accommodate different types of migratory birds. Like the Canada geese we saw earlier, amongst other. It's nice to just listen. The bugs are a little bit quieter on this one. I'm thankful for. Doesn't mean they're not here, but they're just slightly quieter. That little one flying down there, you might have saw skimming above the thing. That's a sandpiper. And the little one over there um, is probably a tricolored uh, blackbird. So that water gets up to here sometimes. And that's where that tree was uprooted. Looks like it has shallow roots. So I got weekend then. Top it over. With these salt marshes, they actually have a higher vegetation uh, density slash production than most um, environments, including rainforests. Um, it's pretty interesting. Because you would think that water or salt water itself would not be very good for vegetation. This is the Finnis Pool, which is an area used by kids who are studying environmental science to learn more about it. Um, that layer on top is duckweed, um, which is a plant that waterfowl like um, what they generally do with the kids is they grab uh, nuts and they scoop out um, a bit of the water and the little animals that are, are within it it's what they learn about and they study these are uh, wood duck boxes I believe those pretty sure that's a bullfrog um, and there's 138 of those boxes in this refuge. Well, that's a wrap for this adventure. It is a great park if you're into bird watching, um, or just animal photography, bird photography. Um, but if you like that adventure, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.